romantic spectacular. Tonight we're going out back and filling ourselves with hot Australian beef. I hope you're excited. I sure am. Thanks for being here tonight. It's going to be a lovely romantic time. We've got lots of fun guests. And of course, our most important guest, you. Why don't you go ahead and tell me where you're watching from while I let you know about my hot sauces that are, of course, always available on everything that I do. They're not too hot, just like me. <laughs> a perfectly appropriate amount of hot. Try it on your steak, especially that burger sauce. It's so delicious. Oh, it's a fantastic evening we have planned. We have people watching from all over. They're watching from somewhere. <laughs> they haven't said where they're watching from yet. They're watching from somewhere. Let me know where you're watching from. It's going to be such a beautiful evening. I saw that some people maybe didn't even have audio for the beginning. Well, guess what? I heard me. I was very romantic. It's the Eat With Keith Valentine's Night Spectacular. We're going to fall in love. We're going to get full. We're going to have guests. We're going to learn. We have trivia, we have a little Mad Lib, and of course, at some point, we'll have Pokemon cards. <laughs> because, because, well, let's get into it. Where are you watching from? We're watching from Houston, Texas, Florida, Vermont, Michigan, New York, Texas, Minneapolis, England, Berlin, DC, Saskatchewan. How fun to say. <laughs> we have Florida, Canada, uh, Mexico, Hawaii, Australia, Australia. Well, aren't you excited to be here <laughs> to see how we've decided to represent your food here in America? Because I'm almost certain it does not come from Australia. I think they, it literally is one of the restaurants that was born to be a chain. Like some chains grow and become, you know, from little restaurants. No, this was born to be a chain, born to be wild. Uh, we've got some shout outs today. We have had some great episodes on the channel. I don't know if you've seen Candid Competition. We have two of the three episodes out. They're a blast. The next one comes out next Wednesday and it is also incredible. And this weekend starts our four verse one series. Four amateurs face off against one professional at what they do to see if we can beat them, which you'll have to watch to find out how it goes. Uh, we've also uh, gonna do be one, we're gonna be doing one live stream a month. This is our live stream this month. We'll have one next month as well. And I don't know what it's gonna be. I have no idea. <laughs> Hey, let us know. What would you like to see us do live? It could be something you choose. We have great guests. We have Becky here tonight. You're sort of celebrating with us because this is Becky and I's tradition on Valentine's night is to have Outback Steakhouse together. And we normally would get it delivered and I order it rare. That's right, I order the steak rare. When it gets to my house, I hit it on the skillet. Gets it to a nice medium rare. Gets it hot and ready to eat. It's delicious. It's so fun. We have Desiree here tonight. She's gonna be our producer giving us some trivia, giving us some fun arts and crafts because Valentine's Day is the most arts and crafts holiday of all of them. We've got a cute little menu here. We've got some appetizers we're gonna go through with Becky. We've got some entrees with mythical chef Josh and desserts with Brian Will who has a little cocktail recipe for all of us to experience. That's lovely. And look at this. Look at this. Does this not just feel high school to you? I love it. It's our little Mad Libs thing. I've got some other stuff. Oh, if you ever want to see one of these live, we're working on an Eat with Keith or Eat the Menu live tour around the country. And there's a link in the description below. So go down under the video and click that link and you can let us know where you live and if you'd be interested in seeing it live. That way we know where we want to bring the show, what kind of venues we need to get. Uh, we're looking at that at, you know, late summer through fall, so let us know, get excited. I could come eat on a stage near you and eat all the local favorites that you like, and maybe you can even get on stage and eat with me. Wouldn't that be fun? It's kind of like this, except without the screen. Uh, I'm also going up to Seattle and Vancouver this weekend to do some shows, so if you have any places I should eat in Seattle and Vancouver, let me know. Check my Instagram and let me know. I want to eat there. I know I'm going to eat the one sandwich place I love in Seattle, but where else? Where else? What else? And that's it. Hey, why don't we? Do some Mad Libs, everybody. From the chat, I want you to let me know an adjective. And, because there's a decent amount of lag, a person's name. And a verb that ends in ing, I-N-G, like running or sinking. <laughs> or a place. So let's see what we got from people here. We've got some people, they're still saying where they're watching from, a lot of Portland people. Got people like my skillet trick. We've got some people who gave us money. Thank you so much. Please don't do that. Uh, <laughs> you can, and I'll take it, but you don't have to. 
but I will shout your name out. Jossom, uh, Jossom, and Isabella. Thanks. That's very nice of you. Are you guys excited? I'm so excited. How's the room feel? It feels dead in here. Are we not excited? Woo! There we go. It's a romantic night, but romance can be invigorating as well, right? We have love in the air. The love is literally pinned against the wall. That's love right there. That is. Okay. Uh, we've got, okay, okay, the verb I've got, right? The first one I saw was boning, <laughs> which of course we know is when you take the bones out of a bird carcass. So thank you for that. We have a place, West Virginia. Love that, West Virginia. We have lurking. We already have those kissing. Hillary Duff. <laughs> Hillary Duff. Great choice. And I need an adjective. Um, uh, we didn't get a lot. Adjective describes a noun like sexy or promiscuous or drunk. Um, oh, I've got, uh, oh, that's sort of a, I mean, I, honestly, somebody wrote exciting, but maybe they wrote exiting. One's an adjective, one's a verb. <laughs> I don't know. Um, singing, let's go with, uh, no, that's the verb. That's, I need the adjective, sexily. Um, yeah, I think that's more of an adverb. Well, maybe was, I guess he's like, no, he's, yeah, he'd have to be doing something sexually. That's an adverb, guys. We need an adjective, tasty or hot or lovely or cute. Stinky. <laughs> <laughs> Stinky. All right, we've got our first thing. So now it's time for a trivia question. Desiree, hit it. Okay, so our first <laughs> trivia question is, what country does Outback Steakhouse not serve? Okay, we've got 52 seconds to find out. <laughs> um, I'll give you the four options you can Yeah, give us the four from. options while we think about it. The first one, Australia. Okay. Second one is Germany. Germany. The third one is Chile. Chile. And the fourth one is Malaysia. Malaysia. Well, while we wait, actually, you guys can help me decide, should I wear a beret? <laughs> sort of a pre-trivia, is it? How does it look, does it look right? Do we like the beret? Yeah. Desiree said no. <laughs> Desiree hopes you don't want the beret, but I want to know what you think. Do you like the beret? Should I wear it on the other side? Should I wear this beret? Is it too far forward? Do we like the forward? No. People are saying yes. I knew you guys would say yes. People are saying yes, they love the beret. Okay, we'll leave it on until Becky gets here. And then we'll see what she thinks. We'll let each guest decide about the beret. It's gonna make my hair worse <laughs> to keep taking it on and off, but that's okay. You love me. You've already chosen me as your Valentine. I hope you're having a great Valentine's Day. Okay, now it's time to do the quiz. You got 26 seconds. What country does Outback Steakhouse not serve? Hmm. And you can write in the chat, I believe just one, two, three, or four, right? And that's how they do it. So one for Malaysia, two for Germany, three for Chile, or Chile, and four for Australia. I feel like they don't serve Australia, but maybe they have expanded to Australia. Could be Malaysia. Germany, I think they got it, All right? I think they got it. Chile, I don't know. I think Australia, I think they have their own steakhouses and they don't need this one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow, looks delicious. All right. Oh, the correct answer was Germany, but we all thought it was Australia. Ugh. We all lost. Why doesn't Ger why, why doesn't Germany have it? I don't know. The only thing I do know <laughs> is that they have uh, 1,319 locations and uh, 23 countries. Wow, that's but, yeah. That's a decent amount. Yeah. A lot of people wishing they were in Australia. Australia, the only country continent. Although is Antarctica one? No, I guess I was is wrong. That, is Antarctica one? It's not a country. It's not a country. Yeah. Shouldn't it be though? can something not be a country? Maybe they don't have a government. They're just ice. Ice and birds. Okay, uh, we also got a donation. Thank you from, oh, someone says I look so charming. Greetings from Brazil. Well, hello, MS Hanyo. Oh, gosh, that's tough. You got a challenging name. Esme Hanyo Lincoln. Nice to meet you. Guys, it's time to start eating. I hope you have your appetizers at home because we are going to be starting with the soup. 
That's right, the baked potato soup. Let's get a beautiful shot of this soup. Can we get the soup? Can we get the soup? Can we get the soup? <laughs> baked potato soup. I don't know how many people get baked potato soup for takeout, but I love baked potato soup. I'm also having champagne, and I've got the bread. If you've got the bread, hey, let's just start. Everybody watching who has the bread at home, hold your bread up high in the air. Hold your bread up high in the air. Let's get a single shot on just the loaf. Let's get the loaf. <laughs> just wave it up in the air. If you want to take a picture of you waving the air and tweet it at me, or Instagram it to me, or tag me, please put your bread in the air and wave it like you just don't care. And let's go ahead and rip it up. Dip it right in the butter and have a taste of that delicious outback bread. Mmm, sweet. It's a sweet bread, delicious butter. Not as good as in the restaurant. I was really surprised you want to eat within 10 minutes of it coming out of that kitchen. No, we aren't doing that here. It's fine. Let's actually have the soup though. I love baked potato soup. It used to be a favorite of mine. I used to go to a place called O Charlie's back when I was a child. You don't have to take it now. I'm just, but you can. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I used to love O'Charlie's baked potato soup. A loaded baked potato soup, so delicious. Let's have the soup. Everybody's got the soup at home. Congratulations. The soup. That's a big bite. Mmm. That salty. Wow. Whoa. That almost tastes like it's condensed, and they forgot to water it down. That is salty. But good. I taste the pepper, I taste the butter, I taste the potato, I taste the bacon. Mmm. Wow. Every taste just makes me fall deeper and deeper in love with you. Valentine. You look beautiful, by the way. I don't know. I forgot to say that up top. Right? These flowers, they're for you. So, uh, what do you think? I know they're your favorite. So. Anyway, um, it's time for us to move on because our first guest is here. That's right. This Valentine's Day, you're not just here with me. You're here with several Valentines. Let's add a third to this party, shall we? Please welcome to the Eat the Menu table stage, my wife, Becky Habersberger. <laughs> Woo, Becky! You're gonna come around, you're gonna sit right to my left. Right to my left. Is I brought you a Valentine. You brought me a Valentine? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we don't give each other gifts. My own delicious. <laughs> Your own volition. Yes. You, you picked this out yourself? Yes, it's the white man sampler. Oh, the, <laughs> it's the Whitman sampler, <laughs> Becky. <laughs> but I like your phrasing. <laughs> it's got a cute little kitty cat. And what's, yeah. should we open it up? Go for it. Oh. Is there anything special in there? Is it for a cat? No, it's actually chocolate. I was hoping maybe it was like for your cat. No, I didn't get anything for the cats. They didn't get Valentine's today. Do you want one? Yeah, I'll take the dark chocolate. Oh, I'll take this. Oh, <gasps> huh. Well, Becky. Not before, this is for dessert. Oh, okay. <laughs> Becky, what has your Valentine's Day been like so far? Oh, it's been pretty good so far. I was hanging out with Honey. He's so cute. Yes, he's hanging beautiful. out with Kim and Don. They're partying at home, and that's really it. Oh, wow. Got a haircut. <gasps> Very nice. It looks got lovely. A, you got look, it dyed. You look beautiful. I'm saying it looks darker. You know, it's, it's, we were all surprised by how dark it was. <laughs> <laughs> It looks nice. Every one of us looks. It it's looks nice. nice. It's a, it'll lighten up. It'll lighten up. You'll be on the sun in no time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be it'll spending our days on the beach in yeah. Cancun. Oh, or, Cancun. Or Greece. <laughs> Greece. <laughs> Romantic places to okay, go. Okay, I'm in. Well, I'm cheers, in. honey. <gasps> cheers. We're going to have some appetizers. Okay. But before we get there, let's get a question. Okay. You can bring them in during the question. We'll do the question to cover the food so nobody sees it come in. <gasps> <laughs> okay, so the second trivia question of the day is what inspired the Outback Steakhouse theme? Was it a trip to Australia, the Crocodile Hunter, Crocodile Dundee, or Kangaroo Jack? Mm. Mm. Can you repeat the answers again? A trip to Australia, mm. the Crocodile Hunter, Crocodile Dundee, and Kangaroo Jack. Mm. Mm. Trip to Australia seems likely. That is a, a way a lot of corporate businessmen get their ideas. I would say also Crocodile Dundee. People really liked that movie. Yeah. And what is the Crocodile Hunter? Like the Crocodile Hunter. Who? What do you mean who? Who's the Crocodile Hunter? Steve uh, Irwin? Yes! He's the Crocodile he's Hunter? A croc Steve What's his name? Is he not a Crocodile Hunter? Is he, they call him the Crocodile Hunter. He might I be. Think it's cro I think Crocodile Dundee is Okay, you crocodile choose Crocodile Hunter. Dundee, is I'll he? choose a trip to Australia. Let's see those results! 
Yeah, they're called, he's called the Crocodile Hunter. Wow. Steve Irwin is the Crocodile Hunter? He doesn't really hunt them, though. Steve Irwin? He hunts what them with I love. Him by? He's a lover. <laughs> he hunted them? I think he... Oh, you were right. It was Crocodile Dundee. It was Congrats. Crocodile Dundee. Yeah, so the answer, oh, the actual answer, answer is correct. The but answer is Crocodile Dundee. The Crocodile Hunter, that was Steve Irwin, and that was what he was called. You really had me thinking I was wrong there. But yeah, four Americans um, that were from Tampa opened up Outback Steakhouse, never been to Australia before, and their inspiration was Crocodile Dundee. So after that movie, they were like, we're going to use those vibes. Yeah, and they nailed it. That makes they sense did for Florida. They got boomerangs on the walls. Mm -hmm. They have kangaroos all over the place. Well, mm -hmm. during that trivia, a beautiful array of kookaburra wings have flown and landed on the table. The kookaburra is a bird. It sits in the old gum tree and it screams very loudly, actually. I met one once, it was loud. Um, we got some wings here. These I remember really enjoying in the Eat the Menu. Mm -hmm. So I've got uh, the medium sauce and we've got some ranch. I decided to serve them naked for Valentine's Day. I think he got them naked because he doesn't like it when they put too hot of sauce on his wings. <laughs> he likes Valentine's to specifically Day. put the amount of hot sauce he wants on them. I wanted them <laughs> naked, <laughs> undressed, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I can dress them myself. <laughs> so it's much sexier to dress yourself. Let's try them. How do you twist it apart? You, you grab it. Oh, look. So here's a little tip. Everybody watching, if you don't know how to do this, this is how you do it. How all the pros do it, you take both sides, you pinch and you twist, and what you're trying to do is put, put your thumb in between the two bones that you can feel. You can find a little notch. This one, I can't find a notch at all. It's a terrible example, Keith. I feel like I'm missing a whole bone in here. There it is, you just pull them apart. Then, if you really want to look like a stud, <laughs> if you really want to look cool, you take your little treat, you dip one half in your sauce, and then you dip it into your ranch. And then you take the whole thing. That was too sensual. Mmm. That's a nice bone, wouldn't you say, Valentine? It's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. It's a wing. It's a good wing, though. For like a. Mm -hmm. I think it uses a similar batter to the bloomin' onion. And it makes me bloom with love. A very oily. It is very oily. You know, it was fried, and it's good. I will eat this whole plate. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. You wouldn't poop for days if you ate that whole plate. I would poop eventually. That's all that matters. <laughs> you don't have to poop every day. <laughs> you can. You can. You don't yeah. have to. So you two are so far apart. As you're, like, <laughs> not on a date. I'm in the line. <laughs> I'm in the line. I'm in the line. I think Becky's is a little. Askew. I, I'm a little skew. Yeah. I was trying to get my space. Becky doesn't my want to be too close space. to me because we're all equal Valentines here tonight. Becky and I are not closer than each of us are individually to all of you. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> to understand where you're going with that. Mm, these were good. I hope Those you all went kookaburra. If you mm -hmm. have a wing, grab two of them and put them next to your body and fly for a bit. Everybody fly for a bit. Ooh, celery. What a choice. Oh. Okay, let's get these out of here and move in to the main event. The delicious, the infamous Bloomin' Onion. This onion changed the world. <laughs> Look at it in all its Look glory! It. Mm. It's beautiful! It's so pretty. Becky, it's perfect. what so. does the Bloomin' Onion mean to you? Uh, Bloomin' Onion is life. Bloomin' Onion is a metaphor for how we're all supposed to live cohesively yeah. and be delicious. And you know they invent, they patented the thing that makes the Bloomin' Onion bloom. Yeah. The it's a real thing. The bloom stamp. I mean, look yeah. at this. When yeah. else have you ever been motivated in your life to eat an entire onion? You know, what Outback has done for onions, mm -hmm. huge. I would eat a whole onion if it was served like this every time. Yeah. Oh. Mm. You gotta oh. get the sauce. Oh. Mmm. That sauce. Mm. Zingy. It's zingy. It's sweet. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's famous. It's loving. It's nurturing. It's beautiful. It's sentimental. It's even good cold. 
It's even good cold. It's not very hot right now, but it's quite delicious. Mm -hmm. If you have yours at home, let, write in the chat what you love about it. Mm. What does it remind you of? Does it have any memories? Oh my God. It's so good, but could you imagine eating this on a first date? Like it always says that. Well, look at us. You uh, think it's your first date and you're like, so where'd you go to school? <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> not cute. Okay, we got some comments on it. Stephen Crocker said, Bloomin' Onion makes my pee smell. Mm. <laughs> Stephen, you're a catch. Um, ooh, Emily Simmons says, it looks sad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, <laughs> <What's> sad. <laughs> oh, people are mentioning throwing back to my bloomin' onion cinnamon roll from Without a Recipe. Yes, that was a losing recipe, but it was a beautiful idea. It was artistic, and, and I loved it. It, it heart. screams childhood. People want to know where I got my blazer. I got it from Vietnam when I was there. I had a suit tailored. Mm -hmm. They built it just for me, and now I look handsome. What do you think of my beret? I like the way I was surprised by the beret. Mm. I asked if you wanted your hair blown dry this morning, and you said no, and I didn't know that it was because of a beret. Well, I didn't know that either until Rachel was wearing a beret, and I asked if I could wear it. <laughs> <laughs> and she said yes, because you look good in berets. And I said, <gasps> thank you. Um, I love that journey for you. Becky, we got to yes. do some Mad Libs. Ooh. What is, uh, without thinking too long, a okay. body part? Name Toe. a body part. What? Toe. Toe. An adjective, which is something that might describe a noun. Ugly. Ugly. And another body part. Your other toe. Other <laughs> toe. Beautiful. Now we have a fun little craft for us, Becky. Oh and we God. can continue to eat the onion okay. throughout. But we're going to do a little classic throwback, a little Valentine's Day craft at home. Desiree, oh. what are we doing? Cute. Okay. So, um, Leslie made some beautiful valentines if you want to read oh them and God. share them. <gasps> um, and I want you guys to think of some outback puns back to puns. include on your valentine. Mm. Okay. Maybe even drop some funny ones in the chat. Oh, this one's hot. Yours is hot. Mine says, I'd New York strip for my valentine. Mm. I'd get dressed for my valentine. <laughs> You make my heart go bloom like an onion. Make my heart go bloom, bloom, bloom. bloom. bloom by super <laughs> blooming onion. And this one says, love, you're my kangaboo. Kangaboo. You're my kangaboo. Well, why don't you guys in the chat give me some of your outback puns while Becky and I look straight down at a table and come up with some mm -hmm. ourselves. I'm trying oh, to think, a what pun. is a good pun? There's well, definitely things. outback. I feel like if I said I would take you out back, it sounds like I'm gonna kill you. That's not uh -huh, romantic at uh -huh. all. Um, going down under sounds too sexual, so we're not gonna go with that one. You could do it Outback style. Oh, Outback style, covered in seasoning and burnt to a crisp. <laughs> <laughs> it also sounds like murder. Um, um, okay, what about steak me home tonight? <laughs> oh, with a little ditty? I do have a list of some because I thought you guys might uh, not know any on this I spot. love that. So That's I do have right. a list if you need any help. Someone said, Throw something at you us. You can blow out my back any day of the week. But actually they wrote any day like the wind. And I don't I don't know that. I, I, I corrected it as I read it because I didn't understand it. But that was hot. Ooh, um, you make me kooky bearer. Like you're kooky. I'm going to you. Kookaburra. <gasps> sizzle Ooh, like a steak. Sizzle like a steak. There's gotta be something with shrimp on the Barbie, right? That's like kind of. Oh, you guys remember when they, that song <laughs> that was. Shrimply the best. <gasps> Shrimply the best. Shrimply the best. Shrimply the best. Um, Butter than all the rest. Oh. I, I want to T bone you tonight. <gasps> yeah, that's a classic. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I feel like you need a mustache. <laughs> Get the bone. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll pay, I take those. Oh, Cleve. I also, don't... Everybody uh, is asking, can I see? I am wearing contacts. Everyone's <laughs> <laughs> asking, is, like, is he just blind? Is he just doing this without being able to see? No, I put contacts in to be hot, like a romantic comedy. I took my glasses off, I love my hair now. Now I'm a hottie. Yeah. Um, what else could be good? Would you like, I'll, I, okay, I got one. Oh, uh, I got one. I wanna, uh, if I say I wanna fillet you, that still sounds like I'm cutting you in half, and I was trying to emphasize the lay part. 
Let's get filleted. No, it still sounds like you're slicing it in half. I do love to order it raw. I do love to order it raw. MJ! I said I'd order you, and I was literally about to write raw. <laughs> Great minds think alike. God, we're so smart, MJ. <laughs> okay, I got, I got, a, I got some. You ready? What did, what did you go with? The same one. The same one, because MJ and I are smart. Love like ours is rare. <gasps> Aww. I'd order you raw. <laughs> <laughs> raw! I'd devour you raw! I'd eat you raw! Raw! He likes it raw oh. and wriggling. <gasps> That's I'm from Lord of the Rings. Oh, God. <laughs> Good <That's>, Lord. <laughs> it's a quote. I'm just quoting. Um, someone said, I'd eat your onion. Very nice. Oh. Uh, you can didgeridoo me anytime. Very cute. <gasps> um, I love watching you bloom. I only have rib eyes for you. Aww. Strip on the Barbie. Oh my. Oh, oh hey. Yeah. Oscar well, nominated. Well, let's do the done deed. <laughs> that one's good. Izzy, you're Tell born. There. Let's Izzy. do the done deed, especially because Crocodile Dundee was the inspiration for the restaurant. That is a deep cut pun. Izzy, you've won. And Becky, what has Izzy won? Izzy, you have won eternal love and gratitude from us. From us. The Habersburgers. The Habersburgers. <laughs> <laughs> well, Becky, thanks so much for stopping by. Yeah, on. thanks. Do you have anything you'd like to look into that camera and say romantically to all our viewers? Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> You're hot. Very nice, Becky. <laughs> have fun tonight. <laughs> Go get lit. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Thank you, Becky. Everybody give it up for Becky. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Give it up for Becky. Cheers. 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 Do you love want me you. Take this away? I would love that. Okay, do you want to put the sauces on it? No, keep the sauces. Okay. Who knows what might happen with that? Oh boy. Well, it's heavy. Yeah. It's heavy. Well, <gasps> it's time for us to um, chat with you guys for a little bit. I have a question for all of you. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you on a date? Ooh. What's the most embarrassing thing that happened to me on a date? Let me out myself first. Hmm. I. Well, I've arrived to a dance with one person and left with another before. That was a long time ago. I was in college. It was a dance. And I, the girl that I was going with, we were, we were just friends. So, you know, it wasn't like a, wasn't like a heartbreaking moment, but you know, well, I'm just gonna... I left with someone else. I'm just gonna clear the rest of the table. It didn't go anywhere interesting. Um, yeah, Desiree's gonna clean up after me while we get ready for our next big guest. And let me see. You what... eat your chocolate. Oh, Becky forgot her chocolate. Oh, God. Dang, she brought that just for me. Oh, you know what? Someone's right. We should open Pokemon cards while we wait. <laughs> That's a great idea. You're all right. Someone said they crashed their car on a first date. Unsurprisingly, it was also a last date. Hey, I'm glad you survived. Honestly, that's the most important thing. I also left this in the cellophane. Every, cut to a wide, cut to a wide so everyone can see. People on the first, the social, the, the TikTok, the short one we made, or the first Charizard poll, keep saying it was fake. It was not fake. Right, Room? Right. Right, we really, really was an earnest, I can't open this, <laughs> really was an earnest moment, and I wanna make sure no one can claim that we're faking any of this, so I'm opening it for the first time here, so if we do pull anything, which I don't think we will, but we might. Might. It didn't happen last time at all, but we're gonna do it this time, and it's gonna work. Um, let's see. S let's see. Most embarrassing on a date. Nothing here. Ripped my hair out in a seizure and handed it to him. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's very intense. I hope that it worked out. Someone said they sharded at the bowling alley on a first date. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Okay, let's open this Pokemon cards and then we're gonna get our next guest in here. We're gonna open these up and when our next guest gets here, they're gonna open Pokemon cards too because I have a special challenge for them related to something they already do. Um, let's just get right into it, shall we? What did we get? We've got a teacup. Ooh, should we have tea romantically together? Ooh, a little light bulb. Ooh, idea, let's go on a date. Oh, this is a, a Numel. 
He's hot. This look at the mouth on this thing. Imagine, imagine. This is a Kangaskhan carries around a little baby with them at all times. This is a Camerapt. Ooh, will erupt tonight. That's gross. This is a Lapras. My lap is ready. Here's a Magnazone. Our attraction is undeniable. This is a little olive that's cranky. Ooh, but I love you. And this is a. Scovillian, which is a little double-headed plant. Two heads tonight. <laughs> okay, let's welcome our next guest. He is an amazing chef, amazing personality. I love him so much, and I'm excited he's here tonight with us. Mystical Chef Josh, get on here, Josh Air. Oh, you thank you. Oh my God. Happy Valentine's Day, Papa. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank I dropped you. my little thing. Um, what did you drop? On your back. What did you drop? What? It's Wait, on your back. It? How do I, can you get it? Oh, where it fell. It, it fell. Um, I made you a thing. This bear's a little wet. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm incredibly wet and I'm incredibly cold. Why are you wet and cold? I was holding a wet and cold What thing. is that? I'm so, I, I just came from the Mythical Studios and we, we rented a $500 uh, margarita machine to try and make, we're doing a fancy fast food episode and I wanted to make a porn star martini, but we were worried about saying that word on YouTube, sorry if I guess you demonetized. Uh, and so we made a corn star martini and so this is, but then also people were theorizing how to make like a Jacob Elordi salt burn cocktail, if you okay, know what I mean. Okay, I get, yep. And this is, I it's see kind it. of as close as you can Should get to Should we serve it. it in a bathtub? I, that's, that is the traditional way to drink this cocktail, <laughs> yes. It's so funny, it, because Brian Wells coming on next, and he actually did make a porn star martini. I was so shocked is, by That's that. so funny. We're not worried about it. That's great. If we get demonetized, you know, we'll be sad. Well, but. there's a lot of corn milk in mine. Well, should I try it? You should try it, it's really good. It's cold. Thank you. Came out of a margarita machine. It smells good. Yeah, more corn than you'd have in most cocktails. It's got a lot of corn. Mm -hmm. It's good though. Thank you. Yeah, actually, it's it, it, um, somewhere between a breakfast cereal and a cocktail. If you want to try the salted version, because oh, we're please. Really trying to yes, get thank you. Jacob Elordi notes, and um, you kind of get the bacterial nature of the corn, the saltiness. It, it's really hit in an Doesn't upsetting way, but it's good. It really tastes like cum, though, does it? <laughs> I, I mean, don't know what it tastes like that. I, mean, I had to say it. Uh, we've all done it. Hey, it's Valentine's here. Day. Yeah, you know, we've all tried it once. Let's get into it. Um, we have some delicious entrees for you tonight. Beautiful. Um, and I also do have Pokemon cards for you because one of my favorite things that you do. Bring them on in. Come on in. Bring them on in. Is you open you reviewing Pokemon and how you Thank would you prepare so them yes. to eat them. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe you could open a pack. And just quickly tell us a quick summation of each one as you see it. If first of all, if you wouldn't eat it, don't worry, just blow past it. I would eat it. Some of well, them are just like a rock or a magnet, and yeah. I would eat them too. Okay, well, go <laughs> and open her up and just walk us through how you might prepare them. You know, you can keep it succinct because there's a lot of Pokemon. My hands are so cold. I'm you want me to? Want me to that. I'm very good at opening. I want these. you to know that I brought three of those in my trunk. That big in I your know, trunk? I, I thought like everybody would be drinking these guys. They are so much drinking outside. them. Hey, Lachaim. Uh, wait, yeah, can you open them? My fingers. Yeah. Yes, your fingers don't work. It's okay. It's okay. Let me get in here for you. Also, that's my fiance, Julia. She's here. Hi, baby. I love you. Thanks for bringing her. No, no problem. It's Valentine's Day. I didn't want you to. I was like, I felt about it. I invited you. I was like, well, you obviously bring your fiance because I don't want to separate you on V Day. So, this is Toga de Madre, which uh, is very fat, seems to be some sort of rodentia. I would equate it to Ecuadorian qui, guinea pig. Rub it down with a paste of garlic, paprika, roasted whole. Delicious. Guinea pig. Uh, you're right. No, this is this is a dog. I've, <laughs> I've realized that. Everybody just follow me. Just follow me. What are you guys doing? Keep it up by your face. Just follow me. Well, I'm trying. My shoulders are also cold. Uh, this is a dog. No, don't eat that. This this will get you in trouble on the internet. Yeah, like is you know uh, people keep pigs as pets and we eat those all the time. But no, the minute you say that like hey maybe we should think, and the minute you say that some dogs are literally raised for food, and that there's like really a lot of historical evidence that that is super fine and normal. No, people get pissed off. Don't this talk about pig, it. They'll be even more upset when I said a... come. <laughs> Uh, oh, Lechonk. So this actually reminds me of a breed of pig called a Kune Kune, um, which was a uh, oh. part of the kayak plants that came over from like the islands about New Zealand to Hawaii. Uh, I had a really great Kune Kune roast, simple with uh, vinegar and soy. Uh, yeah, cook it whole. It's gonna be delicious. Togepi, this is Balut. Yep, that's Balut. Delicious. This is Balut. Delicious. Yep. Uh, mass green. Ooh, this looks like a locust. Uh, really good, or almost like a grasshopper. Like you've had um, chapulines. Mm -hmm. Fry it, put some tahini, lime on it. Fried grasshoppers, delicious. Nice. Uh, go, go, there's just one called gum shoes. <laughs> they really, they really got lazy with the name. There's of these, like 800 right? of them. You know, they have to keep. <laughs> some of them are full on like. Deadlines clocks. in 15 seconds. 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, one of them is just an ice cream cone that's called like vanilla cone. Yeah, it's just an ice cream yeah. cone. There's something that's like an anchor. I'm like that's yeah. stupid. Uh, this looks almost like a Nutria, a Russian river rat, which I believe they were actually using them in fast food patties oh. um, somewhere in Russia, which again, cool. super normal. Very yummy. Pretty good. Ooh, this looks like, oh my God, there's a, it is a pupa soup in Korea. This looks like silkworm pupa. Um, really good, tastes like boiled peanuts almost. Make a, a soup out of that. Uh, Gloom, this looks like uh, like a radish. It's, right? like a, it's like a radish that like is, uh, all it's like a radish that did a bunch of lewds. You know? <laughs> and, and, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd probably serve this raw with just some, uh, I'd actually blend nori into butter, make like mm. seaweed butter, that's really fantastic. Um, tad bulb. Um, tad uh, soup. What's this last guy? Thunderous, what the hell is this? I think it's like a thunder god. Good Norse thunder god. <laughs> it looks like Thor. Rotisserie, <laughs> yeah. why not? You know, I don't know, if you don't know what to do, cook it whole, try it. Um, this seems to be some sort of energy card. Uh, I'd probably cut out that little triangle flare right there, Keith, something mm -hmm. like a tri-tip. Yum. You know, get like a Santa Maria style rub on it. Oh, you know, that like a, a gar garlic black pepper. Saying, that sounds great. Salt. Cook it on like an Argentine style, uh, like shuhasco or like parajala. They're pretty good. And then this is a QR code. Scan it, see what it does. You might get a, a pack of cards that are digital. Okay, so we've got some shrimp on the body. Did you like that party trick? Is that fun for you? Yeah, Thanks. it was nice. <laughs> I really did enjoy it. Um, we have shrimp, which I, I don't really mm. think anyone actually gets from Outback, but it's so fun to say from there. Um, so let's try it. I'm a we? big fast food shrimp guy. You really are? I, I love, like, I'll go to Popeyes and get the shrimp. Oh, um, yeah, well, yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Popeyes is I like Popeyes. I love um, in general. Also, they they call it prawns in in Australia. Do they? They would say prawns on the barbie. You're right. Yeah, and they so are prawns funny. technically, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, yeah, prawn shrimp. Same yeah. thing. Mmm. Pretty damn good. I do love me some Outback. I think they do really good work. That's pretty good. Well seasoned. Mm -hmm. Nice flavor. Good salt. A little bit of like a, a nice pepper element. It's good. Everyone who's got a shrimp at home, if you got one, hold it up in the air. Way up there. All the way up. And, um, you dropped something on there. <laughs> Put the shrimp's kiss. Is that part of the shrimp? The shrimp's kiss. You make a heart? Oh. We got it. <laughs> I'm trying well, here, to I'll do this I don't, Okay, here. I'll just hold my shrimp steady and then you just put it in. <laughs> Oh, it's a little hard. Yay, Valentine's shrimp. Cool, let's eat them. Mmm, it's good. Let's try a little rice here. It's rice. It's rice. It's rice. It's rice. Yeah, it's you rice. need a filler. You need it's a filler, rice. but you shouldn't be filling up on the bread. Yeah, my asparagus has look, had a hard time. Ah. Uh. My asparagus look like sad witch's fingers. <laughs> Like, if this hand entered into your window at night, you're like, I'm about to be murdered. If this happens on Valentine's Day, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> yeah, you know, nobody wants this. No, this technically, it's not a break, it's just a sprain, because there's no actual, like, skeletal tissue in there. Mm -hmm. But you do have to go to the hospital. It's intense. Don't, re don't research breaking boners on the internet, because it is graphic and a nightmare. Every person has done that. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, it's really scary. Um, have you had any scares? No. Okay. Never broke my boner. Gotcha. Well, like, but like scares. Like you just kind of, you know, almost broke my boner. No. Yeah. No, I have not ever almost broke my. Boner. I guess it's just because like I'm an athlete. So you're like a strong I, you know, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sure you're pushing the limit all. Yeah, the time. do a lot of hand cleans. <laughs> um, uh, we have some trivia. Great. Desiree actually has it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. Um, hey. Um, so this trivia question is: Outback Steakhouse owns two of these. Oh. A blimp. A mega yacht. A Humvee or private jets? Mm, I would jets. say Blimp. I feel like they sponsor they sponsor a football game, the Outback Bowl. I would guess they're going to want to fly an Outback Blimp over that football game. Mega hmm. yacht, though. I the wanna... fact that you knew that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Outback Bowl is great. Huh. Mega yacht. I would love a mega yacht. Is it? Oh my god. Oh, that's fun. Did I get it right? Uh, well, we're going to find out in 16 oh. seconds. <laughs> <laughs> seconds to I don't know how this goes. <laughs> Some people. Uh, are saying hello from the chat. Oh, you also, you have something fun. You have a book coming, right? Oh, thank, yeah, thank you, You man. have a I book coming. That. What, tell us a little bit about the book. We have a book, it's called The Mythical Cookbook. Uh, we wrote it, which was very cool. There's a bunch of fun pictures in there. It's a great shirtless photo shoot where Ooh. Rhett's feeding me a deep fried banana at the pool. Deep fried banana? Mm -hmm. How can you even do that? Oh, well, you just gotta, you know, kind of chuck it back there and pray. <laughs> okay. um, but, uh, <laughs> but no, it's, it's really awesome, it's, you know, 
<laughs> Food's been such a big thing in Mythical for such a long time. I've been there for like six years, but we have recipes even predating me that we have adapted for the home cook. It's really fantastic, and I hope you guys buy it. And it looks like you were right. It's blimps. What are the name? What do you guys think the names of the blimps are? Uh, Joey and Ruru. It's actually Bloomin' Onion One and Bloomin' Onion Two. <laughs> Those are better names, honestly. Bloomin' Onion One and Eight Ounce Petite Cut Center <laughs> Filet. Now on sale for seventeen ninety nine. That would have been a better second nice. All right, we have poof. Suddenly, have a new meal entirely. We've got the Outback ribs. We've got some mac and cheese and some fries. Uh, do you have any rib recipes in your book? No, but ask me about uh, one of the other foods on this. Do you have any mac and cheese recipes? Oh my book? God, Keith, I'm so glad you asked about oh, that. Thanks. <laughs> we sure do. What it tells about recipe it. for animal style mac and cheese, which is I feel like I think the first ever Mythical Kitchen recipe that we ever did. Really? Yeah. Well, it's great. This is bad. Mac and cheese isn't, isn't good. I'm pretty. I haven't had it. I'm having the ribs. And it kind of tastes like ham. That's <laughs> good. If I'm being honest, kind of tastes like ham. Anybody out there get ribs? I don't remember if I like the ribs or not, but I know that Becky in general likes ribs, so I honestly got the ribs so that Becky could eat these after mm -hmm. the fact. There's one thing in every section that's actually just ordered for Becky to eat the leftovers of. Mm. It's Valentine's Day, it's love, you know? But do you think this tastes like ham? I mean- It I'm, does, yeah, do you, do you wanna know why? Why? So, anything that is cured with salt and sugar and then smoked is going to taste like ham. Julia, baby, remember that duck that we had? A whole duck? Also, we don't gotta cook tonight. We're just taking this home. Mm -hmm. Happy Valentine's Day. Yep. But we had this duck that was like cured in sugar and salt for 24 hours, smoked for 24 hours, and it just tastes exactly like ham because that's what ham is, right? Mm -hmm. It's just pork meat, which is relatively neutral. Mm -hmm. We get sugar, salt, smoke on there. This meat has just been sitting in sugar and salt. And then they ply it with liquid smoke. So it's gonna taste like ham. It's gonna taste like ham. And the pink color in ham comes from, uh, I believe, nitrate salts. I thought you were gonna like name a country for some reason just then. And the pink color name actually comes from Sweden. No, but it is actually from a powder called Prague powder that, wow. you, can't, that you can't buy um, commercially, or you can only buy commercially, and I think with the licenses, I think people use it to make bad things. Oh, like mm -hmm. meth? It's really like meth or bombs. Those are the two bad things that you can make with something. That we're you know eating I mean? right now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You can make both of those out of mac and cheese, actually, if you try hard enough. Okay. This mac and cheese is bad. You're right. <laughs> yeah. It kind of tastes yeah, like yeah. water somehow. Uh -huh. I don't know how it tastes like nothing. Me Especially, I know they have salt because I had the soup and the soup was straight salt. Oh, you should so put the mac in the soup? Honestly, the soup and mac might have married uh, and created a nice little food baby. Mmm. Oh, awesome. I think gonna say they got them mixed up on the prep list where you know, like one person's job to salt the soup, mm -hmm. one person's job to salt the mac. It's like, I just kept salting it. We both salted the soup, <laughs> then who salted the mac? Right, like that. It, I've never had a food that looks so flavorful. It looks good. It's like nothing. In most of my Eat the Menus, I found that mac and cheese is the greatest culprit of looking delicious and mm. tasting like nothing. We're gonna switch out. We've got some steaks. We're That's gonna good. raise the steaks okay, really right now. Oh, wait, can you, can you hand the, the plate to the server? Thank you so much, by the way. I'm normally not <laughs> this rude, but. <laughs> you can call Leslie. Well, Thank you so know. much, Leslie, I'm sorry. It's it's just sort of. To be fair, I wasn't trying to like be no, an no, no, you're Leslie. Fine. I was you're trying fine. to play with the sort of Leslie. acting. Sorry. It's theater, it's a live show. Everyone's playing a part. I'm playing your handsome diner. You know, I'm not actually handsome. Thank you for these knives. <laughs> Thank oh, you no, no. for this. We don't have steak knives. Okay, there's there's an Australian quote. Is everybody ready? Mm -hmm. You call that a knife? This is a knife. Wait, is that the actual quote? No, I thought you said that's not similar. a knife. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. not a knife. That's not a knife. That's, not a knife. that's a knife. That's what it is? Yeah. yeah. My brother, no. his, the actor's name is Paul Hogan. My yep. brother saw him at like Paul an Oscar. Hogan's like brother. Croc Correct. Crocodile Dundee. Yeah. Crocky Duns. My brother ran into him at like a like a wine industry fundraiser, and he was eating steak with a knife. My brother went up to him and went, "That's not a knife." And he just went, "Leave it, mate." And my brother walked away. But look at all these knives. <laughs> so many knives. Which knife do you want? Um, those nice steakhouses that let you choose your knife. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did um, get the filet mignon because. I think it's a good safe bet anytime you're at a chain steakhouse because it's gonna be tender. It, 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 they use the same seasoning for everything, so mm. if you're like really concerned about it, I think it's probably a good choice. And apparently this is still more beef than we're supposed to eat, and this is not like mm -hmm. I feel that. Um, can I use one of your hot sauces for the steak? Burger sauce is the one to go, unless you have a different Your chicken choice. sauce is better. On steak? Yes. 
I like burger and taco. I'll try taco. the burger. I'll try the I like burger and taco. I'll try the burger. Personally, I'll try the burger. Personally. I think the chicken, the chicken hot sauce is just one of my favorite hot sauces that's ever been made, man. It's a good, it's a good sauce. you can pour my sauce all over yourself. <laughs> We're trying to be what? romantic every so often for the viewers. Is that what romance is to you? Yeah. Well, I guess so. <laughs> I'm gonna dip into your plate as well. Please, please, please. Ooh, it's a pretty good medium rare. They did a pretty nice job. That's not bad. It smells a little off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It smells a little yeah. off. Which I don't know how, because I know it's one of the busiest nights of the year, so they should have lots of fresh beef ready mm -hmm. to serve their patrons. You ever go to like a Panda Express? and you see the new batch of orange chicken coming out, but you order yours, and they give you the last scoop of the old? The bullshit. Bullshit. Uh-uh. I do it at the grocery store, too. Mm -hmm. Maybe try to pull that. I'll be like, oh, I just can have that piece right no. there. Going back. Going back. This is not a filet, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> because it was very chewy, and filets just aren't. Mm -hmm. There are some, like, other cuts that sometimes people try to pass off as filets that are a little Yeah, it's like a sirloin. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, yeah, God, this does not taste like a filet. Right? I mean, it pulls apart. Like, I'm. Uh, watch this. That would make you think it's a belay. <laughs> Rachel is disgusting. Yeah, it's kind of like Rachel, a, our house vegetarian, is not enjoying the fact that this steak is an accordion. The, the fibers on it are so loose. There, look at them. I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of liking that, though. It is an Ooh. instrument. Hey, what's this sound like? <laughs> Sounds like romance. <laughs> Does, yes. <laughs> um, it's too tough for a filet. Not bad though. It's not bad. I mean, it's, it's edible meat. Who are we to poo poo edible meat? You know? Are we eventually will poo poo edible meat. <laughs> we sure are. <laughs> that makes us human. And that, to some, is romance, and we should not shame that. That's true. Let's try the mashed potatoes. <laughs> Well, when we did the Eat the Menu, the broccoli smelled so foul, we had to take it out of the building. Oh, the, building, the texture I mean on the broccoli. Arby. The texture on the broccoli is, okay, I'm going to the potatoes. Well, mm. Potatoes taste like good chain restaurant potatoes. Mm -hmm. I, get, I get nothing out of mashed potatoes. There's nothing, there's nothing for me in there. I love them. Yeah? They're like a sauce that's a food to me. It smells profound shit I've ever heard, man. It's really? Yeah, I do yeah. like dipping like all my food in mashed potatoes. Like chicken strips in mashed potatoes. Really? Delicious. So good. Mmm. How's the broc? Well, um, if you were to just lay one piece of broccoli on another, it's so soft that they would eventually become one. Just from the weight of itself. Mm -hmm. Like a decomposing corpse, just sort of melding into the earth, mm -hmm. letting the mushrooms absorb it. It's bad. Um, it's, it's pretty bad, yeah, and I don't... <laughs> Know what happened? Let's let we have a better steak. So let's let's try a better steak. We have a better steak. We have the prime rib. Although it doesn't look like they gave it to us at back style. So I'm gonna get. They're about to hear some guff from me on this stream. I'm about to guff this up. Let's do a mad lib. Let's do a mad lib while we wait. That sounds great. Josh, hi. Can you give me a color? Uh, orange. Orange. A verb. Pickle. What? Oh, you, that, that pickle can be a verb. To pickle. Uh -huh. <laughs> a noun. Orange. <laughs> and an adjective. Pickled. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> that's it from you. <laughs> oh, so I'm sorry, I don't know how to do mad lips. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is the prime rib that has oh. gotten to be dry aged oh. after being cooked. Um, it really looks sad. I wanted the Outback style, but the Outback style is, is they'll take it and they'll sear it in their spices so it gets like more flavor across the board and the whole thing has like a crust. That's what I wanted. We didn't get that. That's okay. Did you pour like a half a bottle of chicken sauce in your salad just I, I run through those really quick. This isn't me just doing an unabashed <laughs> ad. This is like, it's a really nice sauce. Well, and thanks. I, uh, I'll happily give you some. There's some in the office. A lot of chicken sauce actually. I'll well, give you a couple bottles on your way. I love some. All right, let's try the ranch salad, which is the house salad with ranch, but everyone knows it's just a ranch salad, isn't it? Mmm. 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 That's nice. I like the crouton. Did yeah. you get one? <laughs> I didn't get a crouton. What do you like about the crouton? It had flavor. 
<laughs> it sure does. I don't know what the rest of it did, but the crouton was good. If you were to look at like this salad though, versus say an Olive Garden salad, which is the coldest salad in the game? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't know if this can compare. Well, but this is the the chain restaurant salad that comes first, and you're mm. excited. Mm. It's covered in cheese. <laughs> that is true. Thick cut cheddar, mild cheddar. <laughs> Just like and they do in Australia. It's really good. All right, let's dive into the steak. All right. Because that's, you know, you're going to Outback Steakhouse. This is a prime rib, actually. And honestly, it cut just very nicely just then. Um, I'm going to take a fatty bite to see if the fat is rendered or not. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the prime rib. Exactly. Oh, actually, let's it. let them fly. Huh? <laughs> oh, this is, this is good. This is good enough. Hey, if you put it together, it'll be a heart. Look at it. You guys seeing it? Do you see it? You guys see it? <laughs> well. You guys see it? I think they call this docking. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's try the yeah, Outback Prime Rib. Fresh on the outside is pretty nice. Mm hmm. That's all our Outback style. The whole mm -hmm. thing would be covered in that. Oh, man. And it makes it so much better. Yeah, the crust actually is a good classic Prime Rib mm. seasoning. It tastes like it's Christmas right now. That really like hearty, like multicolored pepper. Like the different pepper ones, you know, there's the pepper, it's all black pepper, then there's one mm -hmm. with the other colors, the green and the red. Christmas pepper. Mmm. Ho, ho, ho. I couldn't eat it growing up. Why not? Oh, no, yeah. yeah, we did keep that pepper from it. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really good. I think this is a nice, it's, got a, it's a way more tender than the filet, which mm -hmm. is incorrect. That shouldn't be that way. Um, but it's really good. It's very tasty. I'm sure these are like cooked at some factory, then sent in bags where they sous vide them back to life, but it's delicious, honestly. I mean, that's a really consistent way to cook it. That's why mm -hmm. sous vide mm -hmm. took off. Um, I will always go prime rib over steak in almost any context. Mm -hmm. You know? It's more exciting. It sounds sexier to order. Mm -hmm. I'll have the prime rib. It d doesn't it sound nice? Now that's romance. Yeah. Now that was romance. That look that you gave in the camera. Do that again. Do that again. I love the prime rib. I'm almost there. Keep doing it. I love the prime rib. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's good. Lots of pepper flavor. Good chew. Fatty. Nice. What's up, Rachel? Why are they different colors? Hmm. What? Well. What color is yours? It's dark. <laughs> Do you want some of the light? I think, honestly, I think this is just oxidation. Yeah, wait, can I try yours? Time, yeah. I mean, mine might have been rarer. That's possible. But honestly, the way it's shaped, it makes it look like it was actually closer to the end cut. See how it's... Yeah, you got an end. Yeah. You got the burn down to the primer. Which is kind of good. It's because I got more of the seasoning. This side's like covered in seasoning. I got more hemoglobin, but you got more of the of the, the Gentile pepper. Mm-hmm. And that's fun. Yep, it is. Yeah. And they gave us some... We got the side of just fried onions. Yeah, so this is this is the non-bloomin' onion. This is a bloomid onion that has yeah. fully bloomed. The petals have fallen off onto the ground, and then they, they scavenge them up. Somebody, they love me, they love me not at their, yeah. <laughs> their <laughs> yeah. onion. A lot of sad Outback uh, mm -hmm. dishwashers there. Yeah. Do we have? Do we not have any um, um horseradish? No. I asked for it. Can I offer you chicken when sauce? I've heard it's the best on steak. At the very beginning of my whole premise of doing this. I was never told you wanted horseradish. I think radish. it might have only gone to Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> Heads are gonna roll! It only went to Caitlin when I was like, literally, it's like, we're gonna do this, and I sent her a whole list of stuff, and <laughs> she really did the right thing, which is just to only name the entrees, and then today, when it was ordered, it, they obviously were not referring to the slack I sent last week to yeah, one person. Yeah, to be fair, when I did <laughs> It should have gone to you! When I asked you what we were eating, you literally sent me the mm. image from the Instagram post. So that's what production's been going off of. Uh, also, I don't think anybody knew that I was showing up today. Yeah, we oh, got no. you though. We, we did. Got, we knew, we knew. Hey, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> Love is in the air. It's not, no feet on the ground. Love's in the air. <laughs> uh, well, Josh, what else is going on with you? Oh, we have to fucking play the game. Hold on, Josh, I know you're engaged, and you're gonna get married soon, but one last opportunity. Yeah, okay. I need one last opportunity to find out if you and I are compatible. Okay. <laughs> not, not too late now. You're gonna clean your mouth. Your, mouth's, you all, your mouth's all dirty. Mouth's all dirty, and I want my date to be clean. <laughs> <laughs> you can take that yes, away. Daddy. 
So we play a little game. Desiree's gonna say something, and we're not gonna look at each other. We're oh. gonna say if we love it or we okay. hate it, and we're gonna reveal it. Okay. Quickly. Wait, so. we're gonna. Okay. Yeah. So she's gonna say something, and we'll go to one, two, three, uh, and we'll find out if we agree. Okay. And if Got we it. get a majority of them right, <laughs> we're getting engaged. I. Yeah. Uh, Jules, have Sorry, a fun, have a fun life with Becky. Sorry, Jules. <laughs> okay. First one is right. beer with fruit. One, two, three. Oh, beer with fruit? Yeah, I don't want fruit. What do you mean beer with fruit? Like, you know, when you have the little the fruit, the, the orange that's on the, a beer? Yeah, what about like a lime? You don't like a, you don't like a dose case with lime? You don't like I, a I was a pretty much michelada? strictly for some reason thinking like melon. <laughs> I was like, I went to apricot. I was like, I'm like, a nice apricot. I don't really want any melons with my beer. <laughs> but honestly, now that the more I've had time, I'm like, oh yeah, there's, there's applicable fruit. But I've chosen what I've chosen. So Jules, you're safe for this round. <laughs> Okay. Next one is tickling. Mm. <laughs> you love tickling. Do people love, I love tickling? I love tickling others. I don't like to be tickled. <laughs> okay. So, so there we are, big Mr. How about Daddy you? Dumb. How about you? I don't like either. either. I don't want the burden of having to tickle people. I don't want people tickling me. Well, I have a baby now, so tickling him is quite fun. <laughs> uh, okay, I went to different places with the tickling thing. Yeah, yeah. I was like, tickle, tickle, and he goes, ha, ha, ha. There's a weird documentary on Amazon Prime about uh, oh, the tickling. I've seen it. Wow. It's fucking crazy. Are you like that? <laughs> That's fine. No, Decline answer. Well, this is why we. <laughs> Decline answer. This okay, next one. Do. Crunchy peanut butter. Hmm. I, I wanted to do this because I don't love it or hate it. Mm. It's my second choice, but I will, I'll eat it for sure. One of the things I really like in a partner is being very decisive and clear with their messaging. So, yeah, well. I want to go well, with the fine answer. Well. Because I, I just feel like it's sort of take it or leave it. I prefer smooth. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I would say I hate crunchy. I would say I love it. Oh, this dichotomy is tough. What's that? Well, we're, we're, we're zero for five, several, so. <laughs> Statistically unlikely. Actually. I don't think yeah. we're going to make a good couple. What's next? Dogs in purses. Oh. In purses? Dogs in purses. Dogs in purses. Like Bruiser okay. from Elle Woods. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, you <laughs> love it. What do you love about it? They're not on me. That's, but a dog anywhere else. That's like saying, do you like dogs in slaughterhouses? Yes, because they're not on me. <laughs> I said I wouldn't bring up dog. Anyways. <laughs> okay. No, I just like. I just don't really want the dog to jump on me, and if it's in the purse, it's less likely to. Okay. I feel like the, it's almost more likely to. I feel like it's closer to you if there's a purse as opposed to being on the ground. How do you know the purse is near me? I feel like if you were weighing in on whether or not you like a dog in a purse that's the, near you, there was I don't no care about the, of the purse I proximity. I don't care about the dogs in purses that I can't see. It's only when I see them. Well, I like seeing them for a moment because it's like a mystery. I don't think you guys would make a good couple. Okay, one last chance. I need for some love. bourgeois casting the fire. I We've done it. all of them. Never seen working class people with a dog in a purse. Maybe in New York when they did the new subway law. Yes. Yeah. Well, you see okay. that. If a dog fits in a bag, they can carry it on the subway. So oh. people started crafting gigantic bags to put their like golden retrievers. Big in. uptick in working class dogs in purses so, now. So, so, so yeah, suddenly things are different. Okay. Last one. Sleeping in. <laughs> wait, are you kidding me? We went, wait, we went perfect over. <laughs> I can't believe it. Huge morning person. I'm I, in the gym at 7 a.m. on weekends. I, I wish I could keep sleeping. I wish I was still asleep right now <laughs> from this morning. I wish I rolled over and was like, oh my gosh, I missed the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> I love sleeping. It's so nice. How do you motivate yourself to get up? Oh, I have anxiety. Mm. I, I have a cat that as soon as I start to wake up, gets on my chest and says, no, 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 back to sleep, daddy. Mine actually, no, legit, mine starts biting my feet at 5.30 in the morning, and then I'm like, well, I'm up! And then I just go to the gym so I don't have to deal with the cat biting my feet. Wow. You, like, fight off the sleep. Yeah. Like, literally. Correct. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us on this beautiful night. <laughs> no problem. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for bringing your tasty, tasty beverage and all of your... Hilarious takes on life, food, and love. Of course, keep keep the cumtail. Thank you. I'll keep it. Thanks, Josh. Everybody, give it up for Bye Josh in the chat. Thanks for having me. Lots of love for you in the chat. Ah, oh, guys, we got to do a little quick cleanup while we do that. Let's do a trivia question, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Desiree. It's okay. Leslie will clean up while I trivia. Let's do a trivia question while we clean this place okay, up. Okay, this is the last trivia question for the day. Who won the 1999 lawsuit? where Paul Hogan, Crocodile Dundee, uh, accused Outback Steakhouse of associating with his brand without his consent. Well, now I assume it is Paul because we heard that he, 
they did do that. And if they admitted it somewhere, then that feels pretty admissible in court. So he should win. But now, did Paul Hogan come up with the character or was he cast as the character? I think he like uh, produced it as well wow. and was the character. Wow. So he really had the whole. Is he related to Hulk Hogan, Brian? No. No. Hulk Hogan's real last name is Bollea. He's Italian. Yeah, I think Paul Hogan. He's not even Irish. Yeah, Paul Hogan is Australian. Wow. Well, let's find out. I think it's Paul Hogan, but maybe it was neither because the fact that that answer's there makes me think that's what it is. What does the chat think? We got a lot of ones and twos, only a couple threes. It was neither, but, uh, and it looks like they were right. They did it. Congratulations to the chat. So it's funny that we mentioned the whole knife thing because it was settled in court. Uh, the Outback Steakhouse had to donate a bunch of money to an Australian cancer charity oh, of Paul Hogan's choice. That's but sweet. the whole issue was because they had a uh, little sleeve, I think it was on a, a, you know, you have them on the little napkins, that said, that's not a knife, that's a knife. Oh, they were using his quote yeah, in the restaurant? They were using his quote in a restaurant. That's plagiarism. Yeah. Well, our winners tonight <laughs> are, uh, well, and I can barely read it. Shapely Bison, that's a funny name. And it, it's a Lazalia, I can't read You guys can see it better than I can. Congratulations to the other players as well. And it's time, ah, help me, help me please. Somebody help me please. Congratulations, Kristen Case. What a way to spell Kristen. Well, it's time to bring up our last guest of the evening. And Galen has an, in, would like to say something. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to mention that we're live on Twitch. <laughs> I did on the social post. We're on Twitch. We have a Twitch account. If you have an Amazon Prime account and you're watching us on Twitch, you actually can just, for free, give us $5. You just link your Amazon account to your Twitch Gaming's account. You can subscribe to us, or you can subscribe to any Twitch person you like. It costs you nothing to give them 5 bucks, and that's sick. But you do have to do it every month. So if you did it for us last month, you got to do it again. Or you don't. It's up to you. But now, please welcome to the Ethan Menu Table Stage, Brian Wolf! Hey. Oh my god! Uh, oh, hold on now! Brian! Happy Valentine's Brian. Day, Keith! Brian! I know. Oh. We're going big. Oh my god! Um, you know, remember, in your high school, did a bunch of gifts get sent to the high schoolers or junior high students and they were all put into the gym and then all the students went and got their gifts that their parents or loved ones had sent them. Did that happen? No. Well, in Tennessee and I think other parts of the South, it did. And I never had anything. Oh, well, from I'm sorry, anyone. Keith. Not my parents, which I understood. <laughs> Why would they send me stuff at school? Yeah. They saw me that morning. But everyone else did <laughs> and it kind of became this weird like clout, family clout competition at the school. I never got anything, no gift ever. I did give my girlfriend things, obviously, but I didn't get anything sent to the school. I brought it myself. You so were the candy man. I was the candy. It's sell candy. Underground. Uh, black market. <laughs> but this is a beautiful bouquet. Thank you so much. Where should we put it? Oh. I'll put it you on know, the floor. You know, isn't that the thing with flowers? I'll you never know on, until I'll you have a vase. Put them on the floor. I mean, there's one out there somewhere. Now you brought us a little treat. Yeah, I brought you an actual porn star martini. You I am win. not creative at all. Whoa. Uh, I, no, not, no creativity in this guy. That's not true. No, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell, I, us, tell us about so, the drink. So I picked a porn star martini because this is actually the most popular cocktail in Australia right now. Really? And it's actually quite popular around the United States. It started in London about 20 years ago and and now uh, just like uh, Australia it kind of started in London and then they got over there <laughs> what, what's in this so this is vanilla vodka passion fruit liqueur we've got some passion fruit some lime juice and then everybody gets a little sidecar of sparkling wine Whoa. and you get to add just as much or as little as you want to your porn star martini why is it called a porn star? So it was inspired by a bartender's trip to a strip club in Cape Town, South Africa. And he just thought that porn stars are confident and bold and fun and bubbly. And he wanted to think of a drink that was confident, bold, fun, and bubbly. And I think this drink is totally that. Well, let's cheers. Let's yeah, try it. I've never had it before. My friend. It's rare I think you'll enjoy to try it. something completely yeah. new. How about that? I mean, it's delicious. And then add a little sparkling wine for fun. I'm gonna go all the way. I went all the way that's, in. That's me too. Went all the way in. We're at the strip club. <laughs> <Right>? Cheers. 
That's how that was born. Mm -hmm. On Valentine's Day? Yeah. I, I mean, everybody needs somebody. And I think that's so important. I mean, I, I, I think, uh, you know, the sex workers have a great place in our, in our society. If, really? if, if my wife died, I don't think I would ever date ever again. Really? I, I would not. I would not date anyone ever again. I would live my life alone. Maybe, you know, Good. visit a sex worker in a legal town, you know, once Good. or twice Good until on you, I'm Brian. an old man. I love that yeah, for you. I will just die alone. Yes. I, I don't know. The, the idea of going on a date and introducing someone to my friends once again is terrifying. Mm, I would mm -hmm. never... No, you, you, once you've introduced all your friends once, I, I, I'm terrified to ever do that again. Yeah. I'd rather be alone. I hope that if, <laughs> if Becky dies, I just die at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> that would make it a lot simpler. Oh, it's so, it's so nice. I mean, we, we could hang out, but I would never do it, anything it would be, romantic ever again. It would be ever tragic again. and yeah. then sad. Let's not yeah. think about that. It's Valentine's no. Day. We're in love. We're happy. We're happy, happy. We've got some carrot cake. <laughs> this I ordered specifically to have leftovers for Becky, so we can't go crazy with it. We won't. Becky loves carrot cake. Mm. Let's get the let's let the camera see the beauty side. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. If you love carrot cake at home, let's get some carrots in the chat, will we? Can we get some carrots in the chat for the carrot cake? Carrot cake! Triple wild carrot cake! Um, I'll take a little spoon. I'm excited for this. I haven't had Outback in years. And the last time I had it was with you having burgers. So this is quite right. a, a departure. Yes. I have to say the quality of this cake looks higher than the quality of the burgers. I agree. I mean, it looks very, very nice. I love a good carrot cake. I think that people underestimate the carrot, you know? But it's actually a really sweet vegetable. Mm -hmm. It makes like juices really delicious, mm -hmm. like a pressed juice, a love a carrot juice, a love a carrot cake. I mean, of the vegetables, it's the closest to a fruit in flavor. Yeah. I think. But like tomatoes are fruits that taste like vegetables. Carrots are vegetables that kind of have a fruit vibe, don't they? But they're very crunchy. I mean, if you cook them, they're not. If you cook them, they're not. You cook them with a little honey, a little butter. My goodness. How inviting. Let's try. Cheers. The carrot cake. Mmm. Pretty good. The cake is a tiny bit dry. But. The frosting, I think, makes up for it pretty well. I think this is a cream cheese frosting mm -hmm. instead of a buttercream. Yep. I'm normally a buttercream guy, but I think the cream cheese works great here. It's more traditional, I think, for the carrot cake to have the cream cheese, so it makes sense. Honestly, I think it could have a little bit of a thicker cream cheese, but that's just because of how dry this cake is. It's not like crazy dry. I don't want you to, I'm, I'm being very nitpicky. It's on the little bit on the dry side, um, but it's, it's quite nice. It's lovely. Yeah, and it goes great with the drink. That does go well is, Yeah, that, that goes pretty well together. I like this. I, I'd say this is definitely the best thing I've had at Outback. <laughs> this is really good. This is pretty good. The Bloomin' Onion tonight was good. The, the prime rib was good. Hard to beat the Bloomin' Onion. And that prime rib actually looked fantastic. It was good. Today. If there's some leftovers, mm. everybody should dig into it mm. in the kitchen. Let's move on to the next option, which this is the triple layer chocolate cake, I'm thinking. It, oh my gosh, it looks like more than triple layer. This thing is huge. Holy moly. This is a monster. Look at that, holy shit. I like how dark it is. I like dark chocolate. The chocolate tower cake. Here's a new spoon. Ooh, thanks. We don't want to make, you don't want to have a little bit of carrot when you're having chocolate, you know? Oh, that's a good point. Separate. I'll cleanse the palate here. If you like chocolate cake, give me a hell yeah in the chat. Oh. Hell yeah, yeah from the room, that's right, MJ. Hell yeah, yeah. that's right, yeah. Yeah. I'm on you. Yeah. All right, <laughs> have a little chocolate cake. I do like chocolate <laughs> cake, I love brownies. I love uh, chocolate cake, I love that side of the like dessert spectrum. I don't really like vanilla cake, I don't really like the super sweet things, but chocolate mm. has that bitter, has that savory, has that salt, quite good. Cheers. Mm. Hmm. This is more moist than the carrot cake. I definitely say that. It's a wet cake. Yeah. It's a wet cake. It's making me feel great. It's good. Loving this cake. It's really tasty. It's rich. Looks mm -hmm. like that cake from Matilda. Oh yeah! It does look like the Matilda cake, the trench bowls cake mm -hmm. that she makes uh, him eat entirely by yeah, himself. Yeah. What was that boy's name? I don't remember the. He, but man, he had to eat all that cake. Mm -hmm. He's not Gus. Not Gus. I want to say it started with a B, but yeah. Bruce. 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 Bruce in the chocolate cake. Mmm. Mmm. 
That is really good. Second bite was even better than the first. Quite really? Nice. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll have a bite number two. Yeah, really, really rich, really good moisture level, great flavor, very chocolatey. It's definitely a romantic chocolate vibe, right? Really rich, really flavorful, envelops the whole mouth. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's move on to our last one, though. This one's actually going to be quite Australian because this is inspired by the Tim Tam, which is a, uh, a candy out in Australia. This is, I think, the brownie Tim Tam cake, right? Is that what it was? It's a cookie. It's a cookie. Mm. Oh. It's a cookie. The Tim Tam's a cookie. But I think the cake is called the brownie Tim Tam. Tim Tam brownie cake. That's what it is. Let's sprinkle this right on top. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I didn't even know that Tim Tam was a word. I thought that was a made-up thing that we used to refer to Tam Ashanta restaurant. Tim Tam. Oh, Tim Tam. Tim Tam Kaliwam. Tim Tam. I love that. I want to try a Tim Tam. Look at that go. Oh. Caramel, I, I know chocolate is associated with being sexy, but caramel is so much sexier oh, than chocolate. Oh my gosh, it, the way it drips. Yeah, of the sauces, I feel like caramel is the most sexy. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. It's, it has to get hot. Yeah. It has to get hot at some point. You gotta warm it up. You gotta warm it up. Let's try the Tim Tam brownie with the caramel and all the goop, all the stuff. Mmm. Cheers. Mmm. That's really a lot of Oh wow. That's a gooey little bite. Oh my god. My mouth is covered in goo. All goo. Ooh, that's gooey. Ooh. Peanut butter in there. Yeah, there's a little peanut butter in there. There's some caramel, there's some chocolate. That's almost too much. Yeah. If you have braces, maybe not this one. Oh, so much flavor. It's real sticky. That's so much flavor. Thank you, Desiree. Oh, thanks, Desiree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's good, but it's like very, very gooey. Almost every layer is like mousse in thickness, so you can see that can like a push right through. That's almost, it's almost like a gelatin level of thickness. It's very, very soft and gooey. This is also soft and gooey. This is a little thick, but it's, I'd say, 66.6% .6 goo, which, that's a lot of goo. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of goo. <laughs> but it is good once you know what you're getting into. Yes. The first bite was overwhelming. It's glute moment. Um, I love this drink. Yeah, but it's, we gotta have some good drinks right now. It's important to have a little bit of something. It's a heavy time, election year, it's oh, too much. It's a crazy year. Too we much. do have a little game though. I love games, you. let's do a game. We're gonna play a little Valentine's Guess the Chocolate. Because of course, whenever you get chocolates from Valentine, from your Valentine, you get a box. And you don't know what they are. Ooh. So we are going to Take a bite of each of these chocolates and guess what the flavor is. Desiree knows the flavor. We do not know the flavor. Although this one is gonna be peanut butter, right? I mean, it's gotta be, right? It's, if it isn't, it's cruel. <laughs> one of these is cherry and I'm really not looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be either this one, this one, or that one. Those are my mm. estimates, but we're gonna take a bite, see if we can test uh, if we know the flavor. While you're in the chat, let us know what's your favorite flavor in those candy boxes. What do you like to eat the most? Gosh, I'm, I'm looking at all these and I'm, I'm already trying to profile them and see what is going to, to hurt me and what's gonna make me happy. I think this one's gonna be good. That, these, these look, this one looks good, right? Yeah. It's gotta be chocolate. Yeah. So much chocolate on it. Let's try it. I'd say, yeah, this has gotta be like maybe chocolate nougat, like a milk chocolate nougat in the center. Okay, I could see it being a dark chocolate as well. Ooh. I could see it going hard in the chocolate. Ooh, all right. Let's all try right. number Let's one, the, the mystery chocolate. Mm. Either you or I were right. It's just chocolate. It is just chocolate. I think it's a chocolate truffle on the inside. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Point one to Brian Wolf. Okay. Let's move on to number two. Let's go, everybody. Number two, it looks soft. It's got a little bit of swoop. But I'll never know until we bite it. Mm. Mm. Uh-oh. I'm trying not to look at it. Or oh, I was like, it might be the cherry. Yeah. Or like some of their coconutty. Wow. It's either cherry or strawberry. Oh, maybe it's marshmallow. I, it is. Maybe strawberry? I'm getting like a strawberry business in here. You get a strawberry from this? It's a strawberry cream. Oh, mm. Mm. Strawberry cream. Well, that's another point for B-Will. <laughs> Doing it. You know, 
Forrest Gump's mom said life is like a box of chocolates. I think she was wrong. Sometimes you do know what you're gonna get. And it's true. I say sometimes in life you know exactly what you're gonna get. Yeah. And you still make the mistake anyway. Yep, yep, that's, that's real living. Just keep making those mistakes, everyone. Okay, now we got one that we get to take his little dress off. <laughs> little candy, dress in a little outfit. Toss it on the floor. I like the, the little the, the little extra towers I got because- I know, there's a little height to this that's one. That's so fun. Oh, I nice. love a little imperfection in my chocolate. Mm, nobody's perfect. Mm. Everybody, even the most perfect person you know, they've got something wrong with them somewhere. <laughs> Usually true. some sort of allergy Nobody's you don't perfect. know about. Could be like a spot on their thigh. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Let's try this one. Oh, it's just peanuts. Mm. Wow, I really wasn't expecting that. It's just big old hunk of peanuts. We got pranked. Yeah, it's a peanut cluster. Peanut cluster. Like a goo-goo cluster. You goo -goo. thought you were going to get peanut butter, but we got a peanut cluster. Oh, nuts. Yeah. Ugh. Still, that was pretty good, but I, I was hoping for a little bit more of a salty, creamy peanut butter. I'm tell you, it's hard to power through several chocolates. They're very rich. It's dry mouth. And you have water. I know, but I'm trying to just live in the moment. <laughs> 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 now, let's try this one. It's got dark stripes. The other one that had chocolate inside was dark chocolate with light chocolate stripes. This is light chocolate with dark chocolate stripes, so maybe this one's gonna be dark chocolate. Maybe the stripes are the hint. Oh, that's a, yeah. So the first one was chocolate truffle. So and this, I think it's gonna be dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, okay. Oh, really soft. Oh, we got fooled again. Oh, caramel! Caramel. You're right. Frickin' caramel! Yeah. Still very delicious. A lot of caramel. I don't like this with caramel. Choo 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 all day long. What am I, train? Wait, caramel's my favorite. You don't like caramel? I don't want that much caramel. I was talking about my teeth. I look at my teeth. Yeah, hey, look at me. I look like a freak. <laughs> Yeah, oh no, it's a glee moment. I feel like you would prefer the chocolates have like a savory surprise in them, like a hidden bacon. Oh, or, let me out, clams. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't want that. Uh, let's try this next one, number five. This one's all dark, so maybe this one's dark chocolate. I hope so, because I really love dark chocolate and we've been striking out with been the striking dark out. business here. Cheers. Cheers to you. Nope. Mm, no. Nope. Uh, it's some uh, fudge, 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 yeah. fudge caramel. This is a fudge. What is it, dark chocolate? It's a nut caramel. A nut caramel? That's it's what, a nut What caramel. kind it of nut? just says nut caramel. Oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> These chocolates! Oh, I to do! How is this the thing we give each other for a night of romance? <laughs> you know? It's like, I love you, honey. Here, let me color your teeth all goofy. Yeah, it's too chewy. Yeah, this is a little impractical. What are the other romance foods? I know oysters are a romance food, but also that one, not really feeling romantic to me when I look at oysters. It's supposed you know? to be an aphrodisiac, it's supposed to make the boner work. I'm, <laughs> if only that were the case, right? I don't think it does. I, I wish that was the case. It mostly just gives you food poisoning. <laughs> If it does anything in your innards, it won't be good. All right, let's try yeah. this one. We're almost done, guys. I can't believe we're this. I think yeah, this is so much chocolate for me. All right, this one. It's a little football-shaped one. Maybe yeah. it's a football, football inside. Football-shaped one? Ooh, what if there was ham in there? I would think that there would be a nut or something in the football-shaped one, but we've hit nuts already three times. Um, what kind of nut could there be? It's a soft pillow of chocolate. Or soft milk? Milk soft chocolate? Milk. No, soft it's milk? chocolate buttercream. Whatever. So it's not soft milk? Nope, it's chocolate buttercream. It tastes mm. like soft milk. It tastes like soft milk. All right, this is the last one. This is a zebra cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this zebra cookie. <laughs> Whoa, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> Wow. What is it, marshmallow? I think it's marshmallow because it doesn't really have enough flavor to be coconut, but it's it could just be a really flavorless coconut. Touch it. No? It's vanilla cream. What? So, so this it. is the soft milk. Look at it. That's marshmallow. That's holding on. Look at it. 
There it goes. You got some great cream pull there. Good to go. <laughs> there it went. I disagree. I think that's marshmallow. <laughs> Here's a bunch of napkins for us. Oh. We've made quite the mess. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, guys. I can't believe it, but we're almost at the end of our romantic dinner. But I do need from you, Brian, oh. to help me fill out and finish my Mad Lib so I can say a romantic letter to the audience. Oh, I love a good Mad Lib. What is a verb? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, forged. Hmm. Forged. Yeah. How about a pet name? Um, Plumpy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. They, they had the love actually. The dad called his daughter Plumpy. Okay. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> noun. A noun. Um, Person, place, or thing. Yeah. I, gosh. How about a, a box of chocolates? Ooh! Yeah. Of chocolates. <laughs> okay, well, guys and audience, thank you guys so much for being here. And be well, I'm going to invite you to stand in the back, and I'm going to invite my guests to come and hang out behind me as well as I recite a romantic love letter to the audience as a final goodbye. I hope you've had a wonderful time with me. I want to remind you that we have some great videos. Can of competitions uh, are about to finish this week. Four verse one starts. Also, if you missed the uh, video that came out last Saturday, it's about uh, visiting a graveyard in Iowa to make a recipe for a cheese dip. But honestly, it's a beautiful story about legacy and what it means to live a life fulfilled. It's a beautiful video Zach made. I really love it. Uh, go give that video some love. Make sure you uh, turn in, tune in to our channel. Uh, once a month, we're going to have live streams. We've got lots of great shows coming up. Next month is pilot month. Lots of crazy stuff. But right now, it's time to get a little bit romantic as we finish it out. My stinky Hillary Duff. Last night I had a dream. You and I were boning together in West Virginia with our toe touching. It was so romantic. You are so ugly that every time I think of you, my other toe turns orange. I'm sorry, my other toe turns orange and I pickle. This dream reminded me that you were more beautiful than an orange on the ocean horizon. You are more pickled than any song that was ever sung. Without you, I do not exist. I need you and you alone to forge the storms of life. Happy Valentine's Day, my plumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I love you more than the box of chocolates. With all my love, Key. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Thank you to my wonderful guests behind me, Josh, Brian, and Becky. Thank you to our beautiful staff here doing such an amazing job. And thank you, most importantly, to all of you. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed our night. If you have plans after this, be responsible, be safe, but have fun. And if you didn't have any plans and this is all you did, hey, this is all I'm doing too, so. <laughs> so it's not so bad after all thanks for being with us make sure you check out the hot sauce check the links down in the description maybe come see me in the pacific northwest and the rest of it when i'm on tour thanks to everybody and see you later goodbye Bye. Mwah, 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 see you in vancouver this mwah, weekend mwah, Yay. Mwah, mwah, mwah.